ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's when the nervous system weakens muscles and its functions. ALS Clinic's medical director says there have been recent advances in research. In the last five years, we've had three new drugs and more approaching and lots of advances in caring for all of the symptoms of ALS. Family members and friends came to Riverbend Park on Sunday to take part in the walk to defeat ALS. The purpose of the walk is to raise awareness, support groups, and access to care. My husband Bruce um, had ALS and it was 10 years from his diagnosis to when he passed away in 2016. Team Bruce! Team Bruce! Team Bruce! Team Bruce. <laughs> The walk is aiming to raise $70,000, and by Sunday, they were at 45% of that goal. Redmond resident Jack Hansen says he noticed a nerve twitch in his elbow, which prompted him to have doctors look at it. Yes, it is ALS, but the progression is so slow that um, it's a very good sign. People could choose a lanyard saying, unlock ALS which represented their connection to the disease. For example, a yellow lanyard meant you have ALS, and a white lanyard means you lost someone to the disease. The ALS Association is a national nonprofit helping those with the disease. ALS Association's Executive Director, Lance Christian, says people with ALS in Central Oregon range from 20 to 30 families. I think one of the most meaningful things to me is to see the people living with ALS come out to want to make a difference and the family members who've lost someone. The ALS Foundation was founded in 1985 and the walks to defeat ALS began in 2000. Since then, it has raised more than $276 million directed toward care services, research and advocacy. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.